Is there any friendship at all in figure skating? There probably is, but we should not forget that it is an individual sport. If you don't win, you automatically lose, and any friendship pales against this background. But sometimes you don't even need a rivalry to make a friendship fracture, as happened with two-time Olympic champion Yuzuru Hanyu of Japan and seven-time European champion Javier Fernandez of Spain. Everyone knows about their good relationship. They trained together under Bryn Orser, Yuzuru Hanyu enjoyed Javier's victories even more than his own, and repeatedly hung his gold medals on the Spaniard not to upset him. There were no return gestures from Fernandez, at least not as meaningful, but he called Yuzuru Hanyu a friend. Yuzuru Hanyu and I are all for each other, friends, colleagues, and in some moments rivals. It's like having a wife. Your wife is your friend, she's everything to you, but it all depends on the moment. When we are on the ice, we are competing with each other. But when the competition is over, we're friends again and we work together again," Fernandez told Reuters. Xavier ended his career three years ago and Yuzuru Hanyu continues to compete, which means they are no longer competitors and of all the above, only friends remain. But what Fernandez did was not at all friendly. After the men's competition at the Olympics, where the Japanese took fourth place, Xavier published an open letter to Yuzuru Hanyu in the Japanese newspaper Spanaki, in which he said that the first thing he would do when he met Yuzuru Hanyu, and as if by chance promoted his ice show, expressing the hope that it would also take place in Japan. Everyone knows that Japanese shows fetch a good box office, especially if Yuzuru Hanyu is one of the participants. Here's a small excerpt from the letter. Your energy is inexhaustible. You've made history. I repeat over and over again that you are a wonderful guy and comrade who has shared both sorrow and joy with me day after day. You and all my friends who trained with me at Brian Orser are truly precious to me," Fernandez wrote. Read the full translation of the letter at the link. You'd think, what's the big deal? He praised his friend and got a little publicity, who doesn't? But just a few days later, Javier gave an interview on Spanish television and started talking in a completely different way. We all remember what happened in the short program. Yuzuru Hanyu skated into a hole in the ice on the fourth Salcho, was unable to gain enough height to jump and ended up doing a butterfly. Yuzuru Hanyu himself said that was the reason for the mistake, but Xavier explained otherwise. Yuzuru Hanyu complained about the hole, but I don't think there was a hole. I think it's the right foot that skaters use just before the jump. If the foot is left behind at that point, the skate blade sticks into the ice and slows the rotation. I do believe this is Yuzuru Hanyu's mistake. Of course, the uneven ice surface is a problem, but anyone can play this game. Ice is the same surface for skaters as snow is for snowboarders. The snow is the same for everyone. If there is a hole, everyone could be trapped in it. For me it's a problem, but not an excuse," Fernandez said on Spanish Eurosport. You can say that being a friend doesn't mean not to criticize and you'd be right. But wouldn't a friend praise you in your country and promote yourself at your expense, while at home, he would say that your words are just excuses. But that's half the trouble. Javier denies the very fact of the pit, which everyone has admitted. Even before Yuzuru Hanyu gave the interview and explained what happened, reports of journalists present at the ice arena were circulating in the social networks about the hole, which was visible even from the back rows. And it was written about not only by journalists specializing in figure skating, who might be suspected of wanting to defend Yuzuru Hanyu, but also by reporters covering other sports, but who came to their colleagues for various reasons. Not to mention the fact that there is photographic corroboration. Remarkably, this interview with Fernandez has gone unnoticed. Although the fan community actively follows everything their idols say, especially in the off-season or if they have already finished their careers, and seeks to spread the new news everywhere. But for some reason, almost no one knows about these words. But Fernandez is far from the only one who has been spotted reshoeing. Take the Japanese world junior champion Nobunari Oda, for example. He and Yuzuru Hanyu were first on the same team, 
and since the end of Nobu's career, they often appear at the same shows. Their relationship has always been described as friendly, and this year Nobunari successfully took advantage of that. By releasing his book, he explicitly stated that it would be of interest to Yuzuru Hanyu fans, and this boosted sales significantly. But it turned out that in the book Nobunari stated that all the scores at the Olympics were deserved and Yuzuru Hanyu made a mistake himself, and told the story of how he came to Nathan Chen before the free program, wished him luck and said that the American deserved to win. Naturally, sales of the book dropped after that. The Fantasy on Ice tour is now underway in Japan. Yuzuru Hanyu, Fernandez, and Nobu are all taking part in it. The latter was the first to post a joint photo with Yuzuru Hanyu, which was the first news from Yuzuru Hanyu in three months, and fans immediately forgot about his controversial behavior and started wishing him well. Judging by the photos and videos from the show, as well as the activity on social networks, all skaters communicate with each other perfectly well, despite all these unpleasant stories. But we should not forget that Yuzuru Hanyu is a well-mannered man and a true Japanese. And in Japan it's not customary to express dissatisfaction, even if there is one. Fernandez, what game? You what? It's a problem, but that's no excuse. Yuzuru Hanyu February 9, 2022, Inside, I know it wasn't a mistake, my blade got caught in the hole. Yuzuru Hanyu explained it accurately and cleverly, as always. It's been known for a long time, but there's a category of people who continue to believe that Yuzuru Hanyu and Fernandez are friends, or even more. It's no use talking to them. Seeing Yuzuru Hanyu smile at traitors is wild. The explanation, as correctly written, is upbringing and the fact that Yuzuru Hanyu leaves the personal outside of work. There's no way he doesn't know that. The whole world knows. I sometimes think that Yuzuru Hanyu doesn't know anything, then maybe he doesn't need to know about everything? Let him have peace of mind. Yuzuru Hanyu is a smart guy with a great memory and a wildly developed sensitivity to people. Don't you trust him? You think he knows? I trust him in everything. But I think that's how he was brought up, to treat everyone in a friendly way. Maybe it's a Japanese mentality. I think he knows a lot of things, his eyes are too smart and shrewd. Japanese mentality, it certainly has an effect, and in almost everything. But I think Yuzuru Hanyu knew and read everything. Yuzuru Hanyu, even if offended, would not advertise it, not that kind of person. Of course, as I understand him. I've been reading a lot about him just lately. I didn't keep the links, of course, which is a pity. Yuzuru Hanyu's upbringing is great. He won't say anything unnecessary. But it's not his style to prove that he's not a camel either. He said there was a hole. Who didn't believe him, and even said so, is on their conscience. 